Well, good morning. It's great to see you today. It's Friday the 19th of November. It's another, well, I say another dull day here in sunny Morpeth. Mm, okay. No, not sunny at all. It's cloudy. A bit of a grey start today. So, um, but uh, uh, it's great when you can just come and worship God, which we can. We can do that in freedom. We can come and worship him and praise him and pray. And, you know, prayer changes things. Prayer changes things. So it's a great way to start the day in prayer around God's word. And that's why I'm continuing to do these devotions and uh, trust that they are have helped you. If you like them, why don't you like and share them or comment. Remember, uh, we speak encouraging words to one another. That's fantastic. And um, it's what the Bible says, that we encourage one another. Uh, to go further in the faith, and that's what I'm trying to do here today with these, with these um, devotions. We're in the book of Galatians, chapter five, kind of getting in the second half of there. It's called "Living by the Spirit's Power." In this little section, verse eighteen says this, or is it these? Um, in the verse before, it talked about the sinful nature and fighting against the opposite of what the spiritual the spirit gives, and it says here in verse eighteen, it says this: "But when you are directed by the Spirit," You are not under the obligation of the law of Moses. When you are directed by the Spirit, you're not under the obligation of, to the law of Moses. So when I think about when you are directed by the Spirit, I'm immediately thinking about uh, in like a film uh, where you've got uh, direction and all those kind of things. And a friend of ours is a, a producer. In, uh, and also when we were on TV, there was... Who came along? It was the director uh, and the presenter. And uh, so we had a bit of that. And what does the director do? Direct, direct. Make sure the lighting's here. No, we do it from this angle. We do this, we do this from this angle. This is this is how we're gonna do this. They direct the proceeding. This is this is how this is how it's gonna happen. And it's the same with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit directs, or should we should have that humility to allow the Holy Spirit to direct our lives. Why? Because God knows what's best for us. He really does. You know, God is all power. It tells us that the, the foolishness of God is wiser than man's wisdom. God knows what is best for us. God is outside of time and space. You know, God knows what tomorrow's going to bring. He knows what the next day. He knows, the, he knows what's, he knows when Jesus, you know, he knows when everything's going to be wrapped up. And come, he knows all these things. Does that mean we don't have any control and choice? Of course we do. Because God has given us free will so that we can that we can ch choose to do these things or not however i believe he knows us so well he knows the choices that we're going to make um and but god directs directs our path we know that it tells us in other part, parts of scripture god directs our path and so you're not under the obligation what's the obligation the obligation is you kind of feel obliged to do this you're not under the obligation of law now in the in the New American Standard, it makes it puts it quite a lot simpler than this. It says, "But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law." It puts it really straight. The word by being led, if you are led, is a word of ago. It's just a quite short word. It means like kind of literally being led, led, guided. Uh, I quite like that being guided, almost like guided through life. But you are not under the law if you're led. By the Spirit, pneuma, which is literally wind, breath of God, the breath of God, the breath of God, if you are guided by the breath of God. This is why we, uh, you know, we need the Holy Spirit like we need oxygen. We need, I need oxygen, I need air to survive. Uh, if I don't breathe, guess what? I die physically. My body will die. If I don't breathe in the Holy Spirit, the pneuma, guess what, spiritually, what happen? Our spirit will begin to die and grow weak. So we need to breathe in the Holy Spirit, allow the Holy Spirit, spiritually breathe it in, to be led, guided by the Holy Spirit, however you want to put it. And the word here for, um, was it, was it, that's what I was going to go, I was going to look at it a little bit deeper here, because it says here, it just said, um, it says to lead, to take, to take with one, to lead by laying hold of, bring this way to a destination. Almost like Jesus taking us by the hand 
walking us this way. You know, uh, I was just thinking about when Paul was, um, uh, when he was on the road to Damascus, just literally just reading that just a second ago, he was on the road to Damascus. He, he, Jesus appeared to him. He saw the bright, black, bright light. He heard the voice. He was knocked off his horse. He was laying, I think, flat on his back, kind of like because God put him down there to get his attention. He got up. He was blinded. And what did he say? He was guided by hand to Damascus. I believe that's what the Holy Spirit wants to do with us. Because in one sense, we're spiritually blind. We cannot see the full picture. You know, we see, the Bible says this, doesn't it? It says that, you know, we see through a mirror now as if, you know, it's like a... a uh, not clearly, but one day we will see clearly. We see like through a mirror that's kind of a cloudy mirror. Remember that old fashioned mirror? Karen bought some sometimes in uh, like in a sale and it was like a bit, it was a bit cloudy in places. We see th like that through that cloudy at the moment, but one day we'll see him as he is. So we're led by the Spirit. We are led, we are guided by the Holy Spirit. And that's, there's a song that um, the Influence Church in, in uh, LA sing and it's Spirit Lead Me. And I love that. And the words are just wonderful in it. And it talks about even, even, um, even when, when all hope is gone and your word is all I've got, I have to believe you still bring water from my, the rock to satisfy my thirst, to love me at my worst. And even when I don't remember, isn't this beautiful, this bit here, you remind me of my worth. Allow the Holy Spirit to lead you today. You do not live under the law. You do not live under the obligation of the law. That is gone. The old is gone. The new has come. But we do have a choice whether we're going to live by the Spirit, whether we're going to breathe in the Holy Spirit today, or whether we're just going to live, go back to living under the law. My prayer is that each one of us, that we live by the Spirit, guided by the Spirit, led by the Spirit. As the song said, as the scripture says. Listen, hope you have a great day today. Take care. God bless. I'm not sure if we'll be on tomorrow because we've got uh, two wedding blessings and one starts at 10. We're going to be at church at 9, so it's going to be there really early. So I don't know whether it's going to work out tomorrow. But if I do, I do. If I can't, I can't. I'll either see you tomorrow or on Monday. Take care. God bless. And see you then. Amen.